Okay, filming is on. There you go. Uh, Thank you. 
not stop earlier. <laughs> that was not a good rest.
back and visit us. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, tick, tick, tick. We're going to work. Now we're going to work. Alright, so this is a pretty good activity that I can If anybody wants to go while Aaron's working around for a buckler, just do it. You're waiting for Aaron? Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking for buckler. Sorry, someone else can go. Duncan, can I use your uh, your good evening?
Más paz.
committed? Yeah. Okay. Free attack in range. Yeah. Good 
chunk of them and go down to each one after, like a, you know, the time you need to go back because I'm not ah, yeah. in danger. Because I've got to remember that, like, oh, I'm just so unfair. I can't be striking, you know, with that, all the energy and all the, the, the properties. Like,
different story. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, when, when you're the hard work, it's a drill. That's the thing right off on that. Feel yeah. that pressure. It's fast. Feel that pressure and you're already gone. If you're going to cut it.
Because it's heavy and it's there. Turns and turns. Yeah. And it's like it's like shit. I need to remember how to deal with this. It's It's a risk. The inertia can like take you away from it. Um, 
you have my. You know, my I, I think I think you fell on kind of on your bum first and, and then in your back. Yeah, I'm it wasn't. It wasn't like a. It was yeah. more like I was like pushing yeah, back, yeah, yeah, back, yeah, yeah. back, back, back. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, well deserved. <laughs> well, the thing is that I I knew I couldn't really like move us the sword fast enough mm. to like beat you to like a, mm. a, a, mm. a cut. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just go in and see what I can get out of that. Oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just this isn't for instructions. So oh, it's, it's just as okay. Oh, 
<laughs> but I bet you you could you, find you could you know grind something out of it if you if you did you know put it through the same process we've done with yours. Right. Um, sure. But I'll never and I'll never. I mean that's that. basically what the staccata uh, the staccata guys have done. Well, I, I have a bit of a love hate relationship with them because I, I I I'm really glad that they're doing it. But I just hate their product. <laughs> <laughs> like that sounds overly oh, dismissive, really but like. <laughs> Well, I do. I, I, I do. It just it, it looks awful. It's gonna look kind of soft. Well, well, I mean, there's, I, a, there's, I, a, there's a terrible risk when you go into a project like that that silver is actually bad. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'd take decades and decades to even find out, right? But <laughs> it's kind of like writing a dissertation. Yeah. Hi, I spent thousands of dollars of government money to find nothing. <laughs> well, that's yep. that's what the spectrum of sciences are for. God damn it. Yep. <laughs> that's that's what you gotta speculate. You gotta speculate. But um, we be wrong many times. Most yeah. you don't. Yeah. But I mean, like, uh, like really, someone like, is not. <laughs> uh, like with Fiore, like, like everybody goes into the basic assumption with these human manuscripts that it's probably not bad. Yeah. So like, if you're so generally speaking, if you do something and it's shit, you're probably either interpreting the thing wrong or you're not doing it well, right? I mean, that's. But let's face it, that's that's arbitrary because the thing actually might be bad. Yeah. But how do you how do you evaluate that? I'm just I just imagine right. a story and looking back and so. going through like like 1980s karate instructional tapes and being oh, like, we have to assume these guys knew what they were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in fairness, there's good historical yeah. reasons for like why the 1980s karate instructors yeah. didn't know what yeah. they were talking about because like the guys in Okinawa sold them snake oil. Okay. <laughs> Or it's like, hey, we're going to teach you like the basics of basics, and you're going to make an entire system. Okay. We, um, actually, I, I saw a very good video recently that you mm -hmm. might like, mm -hmm. um, which was I think the title is something like "90 Percent of Kung Fu is Actually Grappling." Was it by um, what's his face? I can't remember. Martin Oswick in England. I don't, I don't think by so. some random. Person. I can't. I can't remember who it was by off the top of my head. There might have been an English accent involved. 90 no. Percent of Kung Fu is Grappling. Um, well, isn't, isn't that what kind of Kung Fu means? It just means kind of... No. It, it, fighting? Te technically, it just means results of hard practice, but anyway. Oh, um, there you go. It's more... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Essentially, what I was pointing out is that the reason why, like, all the fancy flourishy stuff in, uh, like, wushu routines and stuff like oh. that um, doesn't work the way that people think it does is because they try to apply it as a strike when it's better applied as grappling. Um, it's like... Oh. Uh, like, and th this, for me, this checks out, like, having done Tai Chi for 10 years. The entire Tai Chi form is grappling. Um, or, at the very least, it's, like, stuff that happens at hand and elbow distance. Sure. Um, yeah. that you can use to do horrible, horrible, brutal things to people's limbs and organs. Yeah. See you. See you. See you. Later. See you. Well, you know, if you added, like, you know, another 15, 20 a grappling posts of the Fiori, and then you made some sort of, like, Dance you put some, well, you put yeah. some artistic, you know, flair to it. You, you can pitch you. Well, um, I, whatever, right? Yeah. Well, it's like, um, like, and like, I have a couple of case studies that like they go fairly well together. Like, um, Zafung was uh, one of my Tai Chi students for a while. Yeah, that's right. And I basically just explained the entire Tai Chi form through post it post it. You're right. Are you still in contact with him, by the way? I haven't spoken to him for a while. Um, I probably should because I have one of his swords. Um, but yeah, because like, isn't he like in Mississauga and kind of stuck? Yeah, we've got a distance. Yeah. He's like super far side of Mississauga. Yeah. Well, I almost, I almost kind of want to encourage him to like get in touch with like one of the other human schools that's closer to him just to keep him practice. Well, actually, on the. We are close think... to the exhibition field here. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Well, completely. So. Uh, it'd be close to him. Yeah. There's some, there's some new, mm -hmm. new group. I mean, I, I, I would say that like the names of most HEMA schools either sound incredibly pretentious or like a cult. So I don't think there's an in-between. Who are these people? Who are us? We sound incredibly pretentious. We're pretentious. We're academy? Academy? Yes. Is that, is that pretentious? Just a little bit, yes. Not much. I guess we call ourselves sword dudes. Or like, 
Yeah, no. I I will say I would prefer pretentious, um, <laughs> and also I think twenty. Well, like, I think I, I, mean, I think twenty three years in, we have the we have the oh, what is it the cachet or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We, the ca we have the cachet. Cachet. Yeah, cachet. Yeah, we have we we have the cachet to be pretentious. I'm I'm baffled by dwarf. That's yes. That's, that's, I, it seems like a, Jul, thing. a lot of effort to make. Dueling weapon. Yeah. Dueling weapon association of Renaissance right fencing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Oh. Dwarf. Yeah. Cool. Well, what happens when he's in D&D Yeah, exactly. I mean, as Megan repeatedly points out, the, the Hema D&D Venn diagram is a circle. <laughs> sure. Why? Let's be honest. I think for the last uh, uh, forever, most <laughs> students who show up here are role players, probably. Like, yes. Like, like a large majority. Yeah. And I'm okay with this. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> we try and beat them up, but just keep saying. <laughs> Listen, if we produce more like geeks who happen to be really good with weapons, I'm okay with that. If we produce more that guy at the D and D table who complains about the mechanics of the fighting yeah, system, if, if this, if I'm fine. Project, rule lawyers, if yes. This yes. Is on rule lawyers. For another. I mean, it's that and really geeks with like medium to medium no, 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 skills, <laughs> which is a price. <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I, will, I will freely admit to having been that guy at the table a few times, but like there was one where it was just like, uh, we had to cross a river and it was like, yeah, it's half a kilometer. You guys are probably absolutely gassed after this. I'm like, I swim a kilometer most days of the week. These guys are in way better shape than I am. The hell with us being gassed. <laughs> I mean, thing, swimming with whip cards and all. angry than remembering <laughs> the time he played D&D &D with his mother. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds like a legend. Well, I'm that up. <laughs> because it's a great story. I actively try to not think <laughs> about that. Hold on, this, this, like, so Fiori states his credentials at the start of his books. Yeah. Oh, no. Great topic shift, by the way. Go on. Hold on, we're in I'm not going to shift at all. No, no, no. And, and, like, like, the other... Allegedly, he does. If you wrote does, the does, does Silver do that? Yeah. Well, uh, he, he says, being proficient in all manner of weapons, here is my credentials. No, like, Fiore's credentials are like, I've five, five stools all he, over the place. Silver doesn't get, Silver doesn't get his as extensively. He gives, like, names of students. I think, of, I Silver's think not as, pro, uh, not as uh, expressive. His, yeah. his, his, his braggadocio about what he can do is littered through the manuscript, just like yeah. Fiore's. So yeah. But we do, like, the, we do know some things, like, uh, like, uh, uh, Silver was, um, so Silver appears to have been a fencing master. He appears to have been a patron of a northern lord. Are these from like, not 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 a southern a southern lord of Baron, but a northern lord. So that oh, lord yeah, was that'll explain patron, a lot. And that lord ended up uh, being uh, executed for treason by Elizabeth I. And so well, his star, uh, he may, may have been, that, that would be my, or some sort of, you know, was she really that prejudiced if she just executed the asshole and wanted to pose it? No. But uh, 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 his star fell uh, with that lord and never rose again uh, uh, after that. So that's probably why his book wasn't published, the second book, because he was in disfavor permanently right. with, uh, with the Christmas and his lord. So. The, the only other, like, I've read yeah. those two, and then I've read the third one is the fucking Scottish guy, his name I forget, McBain, Donald McBain. Um, half, of, half of his whole book is just his credentials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, As a, every time I read those, I go, I go one way. Like on the one, like some, some moods, I read them and I'm like, you know, there's no fucking way that this stuff is so, this is so specific. There's no way he's telling a lie. He's just so crazy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but like, why should I doubt it? And then the next day I read it and I'm like, this guy is a fucking bullshitter. There's you no way. He you had a fight know. in the town square. You can't, you can't know. Ridiculous bullshit has happened in real life all the time. It's true. Wait, when, when they made it's movies true. about Audie Murphy, they had to tone him down. It's yeah, it's true. <laughs> Nobody yeah. would have believed it. Yeah, I'm, so, I mean, I'm, I'm still know, waiting for the uh, the Hoyer monster biopic. True, but probably a good chunk of... Well, yeah. well most of the... Yeah. yeah. If at least some but, of it's true, it's still the crazy... Because this is, cause there's, there's yeah. other evidence that he fought lots of duels in like, oh, really? like gladiatorial combats in, like in London. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it's, so there's corroborating oh, well, there evidence for, for some of it. And yeah. he mm. fought in the army, but... I don't know about this stuff about the Mc... houses. Well, that's more than we have. McBain is at least half as nuts as he presents himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, right. that's pretty yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, 
I trust that. that. Yeah. Have you ever seen Rob Roy? Yeah. The movie. I always think of that one, that one guy at McLean, the um, the guy who ends up being killed by Rob Roy, the, the, the kind of the, the drunkish British guy, guy? In the vital. No, no, I'm not the British guy, the Scottish guy. Oh. He ends up being killed by Rob Roy in the pub. Spoilers. But he, the first scene in the movie is him uh, fighting, and winning in the, in the gladiator mm -hmm. uh, game. There. That's probably probably the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. a funny story about that. I, I've been having a, a regular movie night with friends, and we watched um, we watched um, um, mm. uh, what was that terrible Matt Damon Ridley Scott thing? The last duel? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I saw a remake it. of his original. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be. A remake of what? Of his like, original last duel? Because he, he also made another movie like way back. Ridley then. Scott? Yeah. Did he really? No. Yeah. Another one about or the, no, last the duel. duelists. No, that's the duelist. The duelist actually had good intentions. I actually hate it, but go on. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. So I recommended this to some friends for a movie night because I had good reviews. Yeah. And it was vaguely medieval, and I figured I'd laugh while fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was a pretty miserable movie to watch for a movie night, actually. It was a bad call. Yeah, it was bad. Um, 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 I'm sorry that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Any. Anyway. Anyway. Really I really started. wanted to recommend Rob Roy for for um, yeah. for a movie night, but um, but Mel made an offhand comment about me only recommending medieval movies with rapes and duels, uh, duels that resolve them, and now I just can't do it. It's just I just don't want to be that. Now, now you have to recommend the princess. Now you have to recommend the Princess Bride, which has duels but no rapes. Okay. That's so that's that's, that's fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. And and fair. The, the 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 rape in Rob Roy is explicit and and, and awful. It, it is one of the top five, top five worst rapes in movies. I can you have a list. You have a list. <laughs> <laughs> right? It worries me that you have a list. <laughs> there's, I want the movies. No Probably. The Rob Roy one is bad. What else is the... To be fair, it's used it's so far that it's, it's now described the, the, as a... No, I mean, it's, 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 it's a powerful scene. Cinematically, it works very well. But, you know, but it's not pleasant to, to watch. No, it's pretty... Yeah, you haven't, you haven't seen The Last Duel, have you? <laughs> there's one in that, too? Oh. Yes, that's that's what the duel's that's about, Eric. Right? Oh, well, I don't know. I, don't, right, 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 I, right, I, right. I I saw the half helmet, and I I was in a little vulnerable. I couldn't fair. do it. That's totally I fair. couldn't do it. Completely reasonable. Yeah. Completely reasonable. Yeah. Completely reasonable. Yeah. Completely reasonable. Yeah. The friend just happened as soon as you saw the image. I just I just. We were also burned by the midnight around the same time. Oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that one. Ah, it was it was so nonsense. It wasn't like a movie. It was just for like people on drugs. We're not people on drugs, so well, it's so like, a like, problem. I get accused of being like like hoity toity all the time. Yeah. Really? You? Yeah. But it, shut. But uh, <laughs> but the green the green knight, I I thought it was way too artsy fartsy. It was oh like for up, sure. It was yeah. up its own ass. I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah. So I I got a boring. I got a soft spot for those beauty twenty four movies. I do. Um, it, it was visually stuck. Even if they're not weird. even if they're not great. Um. um that's Chandy Dunn with your uh, but I, left. I really I, didn't, I really didn't like them. your Hamlet one. The, 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 the oh, I got Oh, okay, sure. Like that. Oh, I still haven't seen it. Yeah. I, I, all I've heard are good things. Really? Yeah. Um, all right. Are these oh. people who like the Green Knight? Uh, you know, I I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I could probably reduce my friend group somewhat. <laughs> it's okay. You can have friends that like bad movies. Like, I'm I have not sure that's thinks, true. I have a friend who <laughs> thinks every Tremor media, every, everything ever produced about Tremors is good. That's why I don't like bad yeah. You just gotta be careful who you take advice from. You need to watch the Princess Bride. Yeah. That, uh, dude, that so movie good. has aged so spectacularly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's a perfect movie, but I can't not be happy watching it. So I mean, that's, that, that, I also, that's a small list of those. Movies. I also really like, and I put it into the same bucket <laughs> for whatever reason. Stardust. I really oh no, like the, those, those oh. absolutely go in the same bucket. They're, they're Enough, the ready, I've seen it. Absolutely. That's the one based on the Neil Gaiman book, right? Yes, yeah. It is. I, I need to watch that one. Yeah. Now, I uh, very rarely like, like a movie better than the book, no, but know, I did I've like that movie better than the book. come around. If you, you can't you can't remake a Princess Bride. No. But, well, they didn't try to remake. No, 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 it was that. But 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 they started Stardust comes about as close as you could as you could possibly. I, I think that's a super reasonable way to do it. You know. Yeah. It's yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's fine. I I I've been I've had an emotional journey with it. I'm fine with it. All right. Good. Yes. Good. I do have to say, my favorite part about The Princess Bride is that they finally have a duel where two people are obviously not trying to kill each other and make it very believable why they wouldn't be trying to kill each other. <laughs> well, 
like? You mean, you mean the big, you mean the first sword duel? No, like the uh, the duel of the cliffs. They're not trying to kill each other. No, like you can tell that they are engaging in stage combat. I think maybe oh. you're reading too much into the combat. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Well, okay. Well, okay. Right, 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 right. All right, all right. Uh, let me comp- uh, uh, yeah. let me compare the two. Okay, there's, there's that duel. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a duel between um, uh, a Robin Hood and um, and uh, the, and Sir Guy Gisbert in the Adventures of Robin Hood, which is Earl Flynn and Basil Rath. Okay. Those guys. God, Rathborn. He's a fucking god. Those guys who were uh, or Errol Flynn was was drunk and just fucking trying to cut his head off. Right? He, was, he was just with no skill. He was just he was, he was, he was, he was just fucking going. And Rathbone's the trained fencer. He's like, bing, 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 bing. I know they don't exist. Right? They don't looks, make them like that. It looks amazing. <laughs> it looks great. And it's so fast. And it's so, it's so poppy. And he's watching. You're like, holy <laughs> fuck, is that steel? And it's steel. Yeah. It's not foam. It's fucking steel. Right? But it looks, it looks fantastic. But then you get the Princess Bride, right? And this, it's obviously stage combo, right? But the, yeah. the thing is, you're so immersed, you don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, it's, it's also like... That, like the it's banter amazing. is great, and it's, it's also it's just perfect. that like two of them are just like I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you either. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Is, is, it's anybody, fine. is anybody is anybody read the book? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the book is hysterical. The fencing is weirdly good in the book too. Yes. Uh, and yeah. it's just it's just like it's just like complete verbal bullshit about yeah. about yeah. stances and positions and guards, but great. but it kind of but it kind of captures the back and forth. Yeah. And you can yeah. tell yeah. by you can tell by the choice of descriptions who's got the advantage at this particular moment. And yeah. It's, it's actually an exciting oh, yeah. book. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's very well written. Yeah. 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 Alex, I don't know how you haven't yeah. seen mm-hmm. the Canama script, though. Yeah. You would, you would, you would. It's a good movie. You, you oh, which, particular. which one haven't you seen? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I which, what, 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 what's the one happy one? I assume the, the, the Jim Caviezel, um, the Jim Caviezel one. Both. I, 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 there's, there's an old one and a new one, and I don't know actors' names. But the newer one is from Jesus. New Orleans, what? With Jesus. Jesus, no, Jesus. Yeah, not Jim Caviezel. Yeah. Play uh, yeah, the guy who played, the guy who played Jesus the Passion of Christ, and that, now he's a kind of a oh, balloon, Jim Caviezel. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, Caneloon. That's what happens, I guess. Huh? Caneloon. Not the English guy. Because no one was supposed to say that. I can't imagine. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, no, that one's great. Uh, um, notably, it, 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 it features an appearance of a young uh, Henry Cavill. Oh yeah, oh, plays an, ex- an excellent job. Is it called uh, the Man in the Iron Mask? No. All right. That would have been a better role for Henry Cavill than fucking uh, <laughs> what's his face Capro. I didn't like him in that role. Uh, it I, wasn't I a great movie. Like people were all over it when it yeah, came out. But honestly, that. it was like yeah, and, and they were no, that, I'm that sad that Henry Cavill's leaving The Witcher. That oh, oh. Is he? yeah. That is oh. leaving The Witcher. That crushes yeah. me. They, I'm sad that every they're idea that ever was is destroyed. Him. Why? You know what? I'm totally... I'm totally going to do this, because now well, Mel won't make me watch it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you not enjoy it? Yeah. So, it so look, like look, it's... <laughs> It's got its um, moments, but it's yes. not yeah. the actually a good show. Oh, oh, the brother of Thor. Thor's brother well, is going to play. Did you play the, the games? I, I, yeah, uh, I did. I'll bring up a game. The games were good. Yeah. Oh, really? The show was yeah. not good. The books were like, good. The short stories were good. What happened is one of the... I really didn't like the books. Yeah, I mean, sure, whatever. Like I didn't like the but, like, What happened between the actor and the production? Did you read the short story? Um, I guess he doesn't like, read... like where the production is. Like the the and, 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 and also, he's probably pretty English. expensive. Uh, yeah. And so they're yeah. probably and all my thinking, all like, all you know. And the other thing is, maybe they're trying to go after a younger demographic. So they want to be a little bit younger to play the main role. I don't know. Younger than anyway. Yeah. It's, it's tough when he's the but main character. So, um, uh, I think this like recruit fight is also a, thing is a great idea. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, for a bit, he's a great idea. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's played the games role. before he was I, uh, in I also, th- yeah. if it works out, I, I think for sure that one one night a month is not enough. Right? <laughs> like, we're going to need at least, at least two. I could do that on Thursday. So, so but I, I'm not sure where to, where to put it. I could do one on Thursday. So, like, every second Thursday, your last hour is a, is a recruit. Well, June Sun wanted to do some too, so I, if I do it no, no, but that's that's what he's doing every sec every second Monday. Yeah, I mean the the reason why. Hour. Wait, is it going to be every second Monday or is it going to be? Wait, a, you were saying you were saying Monday. once you were saying once a month is not enough. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, once a he's month. The, yeah, yeah, he's that, the, that, oh, every second one of your Mondays. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so he does it. He does it once a month, and I do it once a month. That's true. Yeah. Cool. What is this? So the so the idea is to start 
thinking about building a more reasonable ramp from recruit, uh, recruit with no gear to starting to do full speed stuff. The discussion we had in the chat. Yeah. Oh, I oh, mean, we were here the last two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many messages. I don't Duncan know. is a reasonable <laughs> person with a life and doesn't need to read our books. Yeah, I, I scanned through those and I, and I looked for exclamation points or like, or like, or like, <laughs> uh, or those, those like loud speed horns that Aaron puts on his phone. It's those. also it's a, a lot of different chats. Different chats. <laughs> yeah, there's a yeah. lot of chats. It's a there. lot of different chats. Yeah. So it's not just like one chat to keep up with. It's like, okay, what's the conversation happening in this particular chat room? Yeah. Irina, I really like your advice about about the recruit class chat when that started. Well, well it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I the will say, as sometimes. much as as much as I'm complaining about how many chats, Aaron's also in all the Guelph chats. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I don't really have a Great. Thanks, guys. Right. See you next time. Take care of that. Yeah. yeah. See you guys on like one day. See you or uh, Saturday. Or oh, Saturday at least. Yeah, Saturday's a good thing. Oh, I got. Uh, um, I was going to message you about this today, but I. Uh, I saw the email. Yeah, so I got. Um, I haven't actually paid for it yet, but I got uh, six eight by thirty inch tables and uh, fifty chairs. Rent it around. I'll rent it. Oh, good. For, uh, like and delivery <laughs> and delivery and pickup nice, nice. for three hundred bucks. Okay. Wow. Saturday. This Saturday, yeah. yeah. And uh, Graham is gonna bring some more tables. And uh oh, cool. did I press stop? Oh. It's been recording this whole it's been recording. Time. Aaron. Time to oh, the evidence.